are everywhere and they are everything and here to show us how to recreate this figure flattering style is Orly Shani. By the way, you even made this dress. Yes. I love that you did that. This is one This is one that I made and you can see, you know, it's really about creating strategic placement on where you want this. I have a figure of a 12 year old boy. That is just <laughs> my life, people. And so creating some kind of shape for me is really important. A dress like this is super straight. I would look super straight. So I add a little bit at the waist and a little bit on the hip to create kind of a little can, bit of shape. Can I just say though that you wouldn't necessarily want to do it on either side of the waist, right? Because then there does become too much. Exactly, exactly. At it, one it place. looks nice focusing on one side. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, let's, I want to show a photo actually really yeah, quick. There's a photo let's here. Let's explain what ruching is first yeah. for people at home who might so not know. So this is Hilaria Thomas. This is Alec Baldwin's wife. And she had this side ruching dress. This is really popular in maternity dresses as well, but you can see it's that tight gathering that goes all along the seam line. And there's also a photo here of Alexa Chung. Now she has it sort of center focused there, but it's the same exact idea. It's mm -hmm. that gathering that starts to create a really beautiful drape. People right. wear them in casual cozy dresses and you wear them in gowns. It's entirely up to you and the, the technique is used Is it used to disguise things? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, go it's, back to the mystery it does. and right. stuff here. It but, does have to be strategically placed though, no. like Ali was saying, because otherwise it could look like a Sharpay dog. And, <laughs> right. you know what yes. I mean? and what I like about what yes. you're talking about here is you're saying you can do it to your own dress. Like you could take a straight yes. dress and do it. And I have trouble because I have a, like a really long torso. Yeah. So I find that often when I buy them, it's not in the right place for me. So yeah. the idea of being able to do it yourself it's, is pretty Awesome. I mean, all of these here, I'll come um, to your house know, and these you can do two it over here were done. And you can see, sometimes it's just a little bit. It's just enough to create a little visual interest. We've got those gathers across the body. And then here, we I did more. I went all the way from the bottom hip all the way to, to so the top. So you made all of awesome. these here. Why don't you show us oh, how to make yes, it? That seems like okay. a lot of work. Wouldn't it, it be just easier good. to shorten your torso? Yes. It, that yes. That's next. That technology I'm going for is the next. Theme Good joke. contribution, Mark. Theme. I feel that was. <laughs> so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to try your dress on, and you're going to decide where you want it to start and where you want it to end, keeping in mind that as it gathers, it's going to raise up. So if you're like, I want it from I here to here, that. well, as it gathers, what was here is now here. Mm -hmm. So, so something goes from a dress to a mini perhaps, skirt. Yes, yeah. sure. You do not want to do it to a very, very short dress. Absolutely okay. not. And know that the length is going to change. Is there, sorry, is there an idea for like maybe taking a safety pin and seeing what it looks like? You know what you can do is is I would just take it and just kind of start holding it like this and uh, gathering it and so, so you, you can, can get an idea and then mark it with a pin or a piece of chalk gotcha. or whatever. Okay. Right. Then you're going to thread a uh, needle and thread. You want to give your yourself a nice long long string since you're going to be work depending on how long but you're going to mm -hmm. be working up and basically all that you're doing is sorry mark That's is right. creating stitches hold on let me get situated here okay so here we go i've got my needle and thread i'm going to make about i don't know like a quarter inch so that would be one stitch now i don't need to come all the way back i can just keep going that's actually three. One, two, three stitches there so just so you see you just pull the thread down and now you see those stitches. I've done it all the way down. So you see all those, I'm doing them in orange. Yeah. Obviously you would do them in a color that matches. The next thing you do is you just start pulling. That's so okay, cool. Oh, wow. Hang on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. It when I, could do that. I know. Hang on. That's oh, it, dude. Okay. This what is just a happened? dude question, okay. okay? Give me. If I pull that thing too hard and that thread breaks, <laughs> I'm dead in the water. You are 100% yeah, right. A dude question, but surprisingly a very yeah. good one. Um, <laughs> No offense to all of the, the dudes, dudes that are yeah. holding the camera. They're all dudes all out there. really smart. But they all thought the same thing. thing. They're like, you just go, yeah. and then it breaks, and now you're <laughs> in trouble. So it's really important, good quality thread. That's absolutely something that you're going to want to use. Don't skimp on. Get good quality thread. It'll be stronger, so you can tug on it. And it'll be smoother, so it'll slide. And the worst thing is that cheap thread, and you're like, Ugh and it gets stuck. And you make sure you put the knot at the end, so yes. it's not gonna come so through. So here you go, but yeah, you knot your, your thread to begin with. Now come through the back side, making sure everything is nice and tight, and this is when we secure it. So we always do this, we knot it off, you come through that little loop, instead of a straight stitch, you go through the loop. Okay, okay, okay wait, wait, wait. another dude oh. question. Yeah, go yeah. on, go on. Because men are aggressive. 
we would pull that sucker as tight as we could. Yes. Is that what we want to do, or do we just kind of like just... You want to pull... Tug, tug. Yeah, so this is the thing. You want to pull as really as tight as you can that it gathers, yeah. because then it's not going to move on you. Okay. What you're going to find... I'm going to put this on the... See, look, I mean, it really could bunch shape. up, and now you got a wad. Well, my question so. to you, yeah. Mark, is do you plan on ruching... I know. <laughs> yeah, you're really interested Mark in this, Mark. 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 Ruch really like, I, You don't goodness. know that. I may be wearing rouge, and it even it doesn't even look like rouge the way it looks like rouge. Rugged when you look at Rugged. it. But okay. So just so you guys can see, now you would want to do this on. Oh wait, are we twisted here? Sorry. There you go. I can't see it from the front. Oh, okay. Apparently I so am. A little you bit. Would Losing do my this suits. On a dress that is fitted to you, because you can see. Watch if you look in the monitor yeah. here. If you see how kind of weird it looks. Oh yeah. Because it's loose. If this was a fitted dress. All of the gathers would come across the body yeah. the way that they're coming across on me and the way that they're coming across on these. And now what do we do about the unevenness because it's uneven at the bottom? I like that. Now, I know it actually is a style, but I if you don't cute. like it, what are you gonna do? Oh. So there are two things to do. One is if you like the unevenness, you can leave it, kind of like I have these here. If not, you're gonna hem it. You're just gonna cut across and make sure that it's nice and oh. even on the bottom. And that brings me to the next one. I just wanna give you guys a little bit of a <laughs> Um, a view on if you're doing it to a more formal dress, you don't want to do this style quite as much. You want to do what's almost called like a little pin tuck. That's what all of this is. Can you see each of these little pins that I've put in? Uh -huh. In order to create that, first of all, you're only going to do your outer layer. You're not going to touch your lining. And you're just going to go like this. Take your little bit and fold it under. That's it. See that? Yeah, that looks okay. even fancier. That's like what the big uh, designers do, yeah, by yeah, the way. That exactly. Looks... And hold it. You want to make sure Take the pin out of my mouth. Make sure that this line is always straight. So this one touches this one. Oh. Next one, you'll go here. You create as many as you want, and then you just stitch straight down this line. You can use a needle and thread. You can use a sewing machine. But this is how you create that kind of more formal look that you see in gowns. And it's a little bit more strategic. And you can see kind of the way that it creates those stronger lines across the body. Seems like it would be expensive, like a, if you have, if you bought yeah, a dress. Yeah, those are. Rouge are dresses they? can be. I mean, yeah. they can be. This is it's a lot of work. It's and the not... thing, the thing that I just like to say, I'm actually going to do this real quick just to show you. It's, Orly, well, it's fully don't cut your dress. It's fully <laughs> temporary. So just for. Oh look at oh, that! That was amazing. That's amazing. Uh, Ta da! Oh, and you're back to normal. So if you do it because you're like, oh, I had, a, I feel a little full. I want to give myself a little hiding, <laughs> strategic. And then tomorrow you're like, I ate so well. Today. And then just yeah. yank it and you're Listen, back. Listen, we got to go I because you got that. a lot of work to do. You got to go to Mark's trailer and start ruching his dad. <laughs> <laughs>